Conditions are getting worse for Palestinians across the Gaza Strip. Rains have caused heavy flooding in the Jabalia refugee camp. Hundreds of thousands of people are without shelter in winter temperatures. The UN says Israel's military campaign has displaced more than 80% of Gaza's population. Let's go back to our correspondent Tariq Abu Azum. He's live for us in Rafa in southern Gaza. Airstrikes across the strip, Tariq, um, and even around Al-Aqsa Hospital, we hear that those are just getting worse, forcing even more doctors to flee. Yes, uh, more deadly attacks again and, and more mourning that is full of airstrikes that keep pounding the territory from the north to the south, where the southern part had been the main concentration for the military attacks by Israel in the past few weeks, where they're starting to move to a complete new phase of fighting in the middle and the southern part of the territory. Today, not, uh, Palestinians are mourning nine Palestinians who have been killed overnight, a strike in Rafah for the same family belonging to Al-Irjani uh, family, and also uh, the uh, southern part of the territory witnessed more airstrikes, especially on Khanun a city where the artillery shilling did not stop uh, since the early hours of today's morning and we have been seeing different distressing images and videos re released from the city of Khan Yunus showing how destruction and how the scale of attacks had been intensified where residential houses been completely destroyed and partially damaged as roads, uh, civil infrastructure also being widely inflicted by these uh, ongoing offensive on that city where Israel is fighting to get and to take full control over the city of Khan Yunus, which is the largest uh, as, uh, the second largest city across the territory. Also, the middle governorate had been under a uh, wide military attack, which where uh, five Palestinians were reported killed in an airstrike today, early in the morning, uh, for a Palestinian uh, uh, family who had been killed after destruction of their residential building. And uh, several areas of the middle uh, uh, regions of the territory had been also witnessing more ongoing bombardment by the artillery and the clashes there between the Palestinian fighters and the Israeli soldiers just continue in the outskirts of Al Barid, Al Nusarat, and Al Maghazi refugee camp. Tariq, thank you very much for that. That is Tariq Abu Azum with the latest live in Rafa.